Facebook and other social networking sites have a new enemy, Sir Tim Berners-Lee, one of the guys who created the Internet. In a recent article in Scientific American, Berners-Lee argued that massive social networking sites like Facebook are a threat to the Internet's main function as an open and free information source by walling off large chunks of the Internet to certain users only. He believes this will cause many browsers to be locked out of the lot of the content that the Internet can offer. He also attacked critics of net neutrality, arguing that it's yet another way that information can be withheld from Internet users. That would be the lack of net neutrality. So is Sir Bernard Lee right? Are we saying the Internet as we know it is in its death throes? Joining me in the studio to talk about this is Seton Motley, president of LessGovernment.org. And joining us from Boston is Aaron Schwartz with Demand Progress. Welcome to you both. Good to see you, Tom. Great to see you, Seton. Uh, and Aaron, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. So, yeah, the three dangers that, that were defined in this thing, the walling off, the end of net neutrality, and a totalitarian government. Uh, Aaron, let me start with you. These, of these three, which do you see as most likely? You know, I think they're all dangers we have to watch out for. You know, Tim did a great job in the article of sort of lining up the, the paragon of threats to the Internet, and there's so many of them. You know, like we talked about last time on this show, the U.S. government is trying to wall off the Internet the same way totalitarian governments have. The sites like Google and Facebook have become increasingly powerful so that they control more of it. You know, it's the kind of thing where we need to start outlining a positive vision for the Internet, and that's what net neutrality does. It says, okay, here's the boundary. We need something open and free, and that's what we need to fight for. Net neutrality, Seton. Net neutrality is saying to the people who are the gatekeepers of the Internet, you're not going to mess with this gate. You're going to keep the door open. And the answer is to make the government the gatekeeper. Yes. That's Absolutely. the... To say, to say the gate is going to stay open. He just mentioned, and Tim Berners-Lee mentioned... These companies will try to shut that gate. Where has it happened? They have already said that they are going to there. Where? It's, Who? It's, it's happening when? all... Where? Comcast has already done it. Comcast is throttling the Internet right now, right in this very city. No, they're not. Comcast is throttling the Internet. No, they're not. They absolutely are. No, it happened once. You, you, buy, a... you buy a five MIPS down local uh, consumer Comcast line, and you, and you start using a lot of bandwidth. You, you download video or, or, or large files, and what you will see is that they will throttle that right down to three MIPS. They, it, already, the Internet is being, is being contracted like this. It's not being contracted. Comcast is one of the companies that has spent hundreds of billions of dollars building the web, the Internet, into the free speech, free market Xanadu we all enjoy now. To say that it's dying like learners Smith did, whatever his name is, learners Lee, learners <laughs> Lee uh, is patently absurd, but it is. Well, yes, how is it these dying? Guys, they're trying to merge with NBC so that they can control all the TV content. Where do you have any evidence of that? Content. Where do you have any evidence of that's going to happen? From their own words. Look at what they're doing. They're, what are they, they doing? They have in, they, Comcast has come out and. Well, are they blocking? Are they blocking throw, CBS content? Are they blocking ABC content? Not yet, and that's well, why we need to you're say you're innocent until proven guilty. That's why we need to you're say you're innocent until proven net guilty. neutrality is you would agree. You would agree on the on the airport security. You would agree with me that you need to be innocent until proven guilty. Get rid of the street theater. Why? Why is Comcast guilty without any chance of being proven innocent? What I'm saying is keep those doors open. They are open. Let's talk. talk let me talk. I mean, this is, a, this is a guy who doesn't even know the name of the guy who created the web. The point is not to arrest Comcast. Nobody's saying that. We're saying we need laws in place that protect the Internet so that if Comcast does protect do these things, what? they do block it, it's illegal. Protect it from what? Protect They're it not from blocking. Corporations protect it from censorship, from all of the I'm things much, that we've seen I'm more across censorship. a whole variety of media. First I mean, of we all, saw enormous consolidation in radio. We saw consolidation in the newspaper business. First of all, in censorship every form of media before now, what we've seen are big companies coming in, taking over, and consolidating. First Amendment applies exclusively to protection from government censorship, not from corporations. So to say, Which is why we need net neutrality. No, laws. we it's don't. The first Amendment of the Internet. Because there the is no First Amendment, Amendment of the Internet. Corporations. If we need you laws cheapen that the will. First Amendment by doing something like that. If with you're going to consider the Internet part of the commons. You don't. Then, We've already discussed then, this. Then, Anything that costs hundreds then, of billions of dollars of private sector investment is not part it of the was commons. Hundreds of okay, billions let's, of dollars. let's talk public. up on that because it's not just private sector investment. The Internet was invented by the government. So what? The government that funded it and supported it. And to this day, people like Comcast are beneficiaries of government monopolies. The and reason every, Comcast and Verizon and, have this industry is because the government made them. And in fact, the government didn't make Comcast. Every, every single, no, no, see, every single inch of, uh, or not every, but virtually every inch of, of, uh, of physical property over which 
the uh, Comcast and all these other companies are transferring the Internet information. So is, what? Is public property. So what? I drive my car public on the Internet. Does that mean what? the car is the government? You my are. Car is when the you drive your car, Quentin. you are using part of the commons. We, you stop at red yes, lights. Yes, you, but you my car isn't part signs. of the commons. Their infrastructure for you the have Internet no is right not part of the commons. We're not talking about a packet of data. The, the, we, go, go ahead, Aaron. You don't have a right to set up toll booths on the public streets that we've paid for. We're not saying we should control every car. We're saying you can't come in and decide who gets to pass and who doesn't. We're saying if the government supports the building of they all built of these the roads. roads, it's up for public and they built the roads. That everybody the government can use built them. the roads. No, the inf no, the roads of the, the internet, internet are the internet infrastructure by the government. So what? It doesn't have anything to do with it now. And those roads Thank God that you're talking about that are that are run by private companies or, or laid down by private companies are laid on public territory, just like the public airways for radio and television. So what you're saying is you want to pull a Hugo Chavez move and nationalize the, the private sector roads. I am built saying by Comcast, that I want, Verizon, et cetera. I want to pull a public roads move and say nobody can control these streets except all of us collectively except for the by, people who our, paid, by our which means you're nationalizing the Which means you're ma nationalizing the broadband the pipe that was laid down. The protection of the broadband No, you're pipe. nationalizing it because you're saying to those people, it's your private we property not, that we're taking No, it. we're not We're not taking it. Well, yes, we you are. Regulating. You're telling them they can't. There's a difference. No, yeah. There's a difference between taking and regulating. No, if you're, if you're going to make it. Banks so are not taken when they're regulated. When you say to a bank, you know, you've got to have a reserve uh, ratio, reform that's bill, I would argue with that. But, but beyond that, if, if you're going to regulate it to the degree that net neutrality does, you're making it untenable for private sector investment to get a return and a profit, and therefore Nonsense. you're going to drive, in, you're going to drive so private you sector out. There is no censorship of the Internet, and now you say it's impossible to run an Internet without censorship. Which is it? No, what I'm. What are you talking about? You what just I'm, said that if you said if we prevent people from censoring the internet, there's no way to run a viable business. I said I don't want the government involved in making that call. I want the. So you don't want we the people making the making the call. You'd rather have Comcast. You'd rather have Wait, a giant, we the all people. The What's going on at the, the FCC right now with the what internet? What goes on is in not the government? We the people. It's it, three unelected Democrat bureaucrats. It is people who are responsive to internet. elected officials because they're appointed but, by elected but, officials. But, but who's respond? The whole point of government is it is. Custom Customers rule the roost. It, it, no, customers don't. Customers yes, get screwed routinely. See, and yes, you know who it. buy? The government. I just went and tried to register my car, and it took forever, and I didn't even get to finish it. You didn't buy your car from the government. Oh, well, no, but I and, tried and, to and get registered that, with the we're, government. We're, we're out of time. Aaron, thanks so much for joining us tonight. See you, Aaron. Seaton, thank you for showing Good up. Good to see you, Tom. Always Good a pleasure. Good to see you again.